Welcome, ladies and gents, to another episode of Let's Find Meal. Okay, so this episode we are going to continue our journey, which is at uh, chapter 3. Yes, I think we're at chapter 3 right now. So we have to do two raids and two gym battles, which I think is going to be quite fast. But before that, we actually have a jump bluff, which is, you know, it's still a rare spawn. We don't see a lot of jump bluffs around here. Critical catch! Okay, not bad. Um, so yeah, uh, today we're going to take a look at the quest that we're going to be doing for the mythical discovery. Uh, let's see here, we have to, yes, as I said before, battle a gym two times, which is quite fast, and then battle in the raid two times. So that's actually a gym right behind me right now. So, oh, it's almost dead too. Um, yeah, I guess we can go take it down right now. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, right, you just need to battle one of the Pokemon and it'll count as one, but you know us take it down. No, I mean, I, when I mean take it down means you have to just, you know, kill it once. So we have, okay, well, someone's taking it down right now, so let's join in and try to take it down fast, and then we can straight, you know, get both of the gym battles. Okay, first up we have a Snorlax. And arrow out. I think that guy took it down already. Okay, never mind, let's, let's get the next two. Okay, cool. We took down a slacking in a very fast fashion and we have one more which is a masquerade and that should be all she wrote cool battle in the gym two times huh? simple right you know you don't really need to take down the pokemon you just need to battle it once and we defeat the gym nice let's spin the pokestop here we have a new field research and I actually want to start posting up too. Okay, so what is the new posting? Okay, I'm going to claim the reward here. Nice! And we actually need to battle in a gym. Maybe I should spin that Pokestop first. <laughs> Alright, let's go find some raids. But before that, right, I just want to show you guys something. Check this out. Since today is April 1st, right, as an April Fool's joke from Niantic, right, everything in the Pokemon section, the sprite in fact, is all in 8-bit pixel. So, I mean, Look, look at this, okay, so I caught shiny Bulbasaurus right, and a shiny Venusaur. You cannot tell from the sprite, but you know, only when you click into it, then only you can tell that it's a shiny, you know? But check this out, this is actually kind of cool, you know? I don't know why, but I kind of prefer this more than the 3D model. I'm just a bit old school, I guess. But uh, yeah, this is so cool. Look at this, Gyarados, Lapras. If I look at my combat power, uh, we can look at Rayquaza, Tyranitar, Lugia. Zapdos, oh man, this is this is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, and then I actually like the Typhlosion sprite better than the one in the Pokemon Go one. So, yeah, that's just my preference. But I like how Niantic is able to change things up or surprise us with this kind of stuff once in a while. Well done, Niantic. Well done. I kind of like this. Even the nearby list is also in 8-bit pixel. Oh my god. Hi guys, it's time to hatch eggs. He's driving, so... And he's like greedy for the distance and the eggs, so I have to do it. Oh! It's a green one. Whoosh! It's um, the fish that looks like a fossil, but with very bad eyeliner. It's the blue mouse thing that bounces on his own tail, and it's very cute. It's a pink jiggly thing, the baby Pokemon one. It's an electric eel. It's a baby fire starter. <laughs> I'm gonna be in trouble if I don't hatch him some shinies. Okay, we got a baby camel. Or... And then a baby pink thing again. Princess Leia hair. Anyone? Okay, that's about it. That's about it? Okay, okay. signing off. Well done. Bye. Oh, also one more thing guys, Murkrows has been detected that it's actually a shiny. So go out there, catch all the Murkrows you can find because you could get a purple Murkrow. A shiny. Why am I so zoomed in all the time? Okay. Anyway, we are going to go find a gym right now because we have to do some raids but there is a trick on how to save your raid pass as in you can only use one raid pass for multiple of the battles. Let me show you. Okay, so before I start with anything, right, I just want to let you guys know that 
I found this source from somewhere in Facebook and the group chat in Facebook, right? So I don't know who is the first person that actually found out about this, but I'm just going to show you guys anyway. So right here we have a swap blue raid. I'm sorry about the traffic, okay? It's a little bit loud over there. But we have a swap blue raid and what you're going to do is that you're going to purposely lose in all your raid battles with this boss because every time you battle one, it counts as one, right? So you're going to lose, time out, and then you're going to rejoin again. The only way you can do this is to do in the private group. That way, other people that join doesn't kill your boss. So what you want to do is right now, we're going to do a private group. So once you're inside the group, we're going to purposely lose or time out. So basically, you're just going to like, I don't know, do whatever you want until you time out. Then you lose and then it will count as one battle and then you can keep doing this. So because one raid battle only lasts 45 minutes, so you could do maybe about five raids if it, the, egg, the egg just hatched only, right? So you can do five raids for one pass. So in that sense, you could actually do use two raid pass for 10 battles for one of the Mew uh, chapters. I think it was chapter six. We had to do 10 raids. Sorry for spoilers, right? But yeah, that's one of the tasks. And for this one, we have to do two. So we're just gonna like lose the first one and then we're gonna win the second one and then that should be it. So this method is for is very good for rural players if you don't have a lot of eggs hatching around or you're just trying to save raid pass, you know. But for people that really want the EXP, this is definitely not for you. Okay, so here we have it. Uh, we're not gonna attack, we're just gonna swipe uh, until the timer runs down. So we have 180 seconds, that's about three minutes. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, time's up. <sighs> Alright, so here we have it. It counts here as one battle already. So we're just gonna press OK. And now, since we only need two, because if you check here in our raid for our chapter three, we just need to battle it twice. It didn't say it's win, just battle it. So we're gonna go back in and this time we're gonna kill it. <sighs> okay, so this time we're gonna kill the Swap Blue. And then there'll be two, and then we're ready for chapter four. All right, so our Swap Blue is now down for the second time. And we did it, two raid. Of course, if this, you know, if you need more, you just need to keep dying. And this is very time consuming, no doubt. But it definitely saves a lot of raid pass, especially for people who don't have enough, you know. Time to catch. Okay, so there we have it. Um, claim reward, here it is. Chapter three, complete. Charge TM, fast TM, and Sarkis. Okay, so great work. This helps us point us in the right direction. Uh, do you know Mew has a whole genetic code for all Pokemon? Mm, okay. Uh, study Pokemon evolution, learn about Mew. And okay, so here's the next task. All right, we're gonna earn five candies from walking our Pokemon. So that's 5km for the PGs or whatever. And evolve 20 Pokemon. And Silver Kanto Battle, which we already have. So here we have it. Okay. We're gonna claim the first one, 2k. Yeah, alright. Time to change our buddy again. Uh, let's change something else. Okay, uh, let's do... Yeah, let's just do Gyarados. Okay, so we're gonna evolve a bunch of Pokemon right now. Because you need to evolve 20 Pokemon. So I actually have a, a bunch of PGs lined up already. Uh, here it is. Okay, let me do some evolution first. Okay, here we have it. We're gonna evolve our last one. And there it is, evolve 20 Pokemon, and we have finally achieved one of the tasks immediately. So, claim reward, 2000 EXP. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna walk five, we need five candies from walking our Gyarados. So that's like 5km. It's gonna be a while. Nothing like a hot day with some ice cream.
well, after what feels like an eternity of walking, we have only walked about 4 km of this Gyarados. So another km to go, but we are about to leave this area and we're going to head to a game shop. So let's go there now. Quite frankly, I've been looking at the Switch, right, which I've been thinking about buying for the longest time, but I do not know if I really need it. So I have a question for you audience, right? Who owns a Switch? And if you do, is it good? Is it worth the money? Is it for people who are like, you know, hardcore gamers or is it for casual gamers or multiplayer gamers? Leave them in the comments down below, I will try to read them. Okay, so we are finally back home after a long day and Yes, we have finished our buddy walk. So here it is, our special mythical discovery task. We're gonna claim the reward and that's it for chapter three. 4,000 Stardust, three Leo module and great balls. Nice. Amazing, just amazing. Isn't evolution wondrous? I learn something new every time I see it. With the data we collected, I feel like we'll be able to pinpoint Mew's location, okay? So visited your area recently? Ah, maybe it's behind you. <laughs> uh, is that the case someone should have reported a sighting? Maybe it's in hiding or disguised as another Pokemon? You never know, right? Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. N next task, chapter 4. Catch a Ditto, which is going to be very hard because we don't know which Pokemon is going to be a Ditto. 20 Great Trolls, I think that's the first one we're going to finish. And catch 10 Ghost Types. Now, I want you guys to leave a comment. Do you guys want to see this whole entire chapter 4, right, being filmed next Saturday? or Sunday, Friday, I don't know because quite frankly I might catch this over the week because I don't really film on the week uh, during the weekdays right so if you guys want to see this let me know I might try to film during the night or like on Monday to Friday I'll film like one hour and then I'll stitch them together I don't know but yeah so that's our new task Ditto, Great Draws and Ghost Types oh yeah wait we got one more thing to do we have a claim reward for our field research and a random Pokemon what do we have? Okay. <laughs> okay, so anyway, that will be it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something from the raid pass thing. So for those people that don't have enough raid pass to do this challenge and stuff, just do that, okay? You will use one and then you can just finish it off. Let me know if you guys have Mew already by now because it's going to take me a while before I reach, actually reach that stage. So peace out, guys. Yeah.